Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have a John Doe, and he was found September 21st, 2018, in Elko, Nevada. It has estimated age 12 to 100 years, so they're, that's quite a range. Um, no estimated year of death is mentioned. I don't know if they don't have one or if they didn't put one in. Estimated height could be anywhere from 5 foot 5 to 6 foot 1. Cannot estimate the weight. There's no estimated PMI. Um, Elko County, Nevada. Partial human skeletal remains found near Burner Basin Hill in Elko County, Nevada. Burner Basin Hill. So there's that. We'll zoom out some. And there's Salt Lake City, there's Idaho. Utah's right here. Well, it does, Salt Lake City. And there's California, there's Oregon. So that you can see where it is. And partial human skeletal remains. Unknown hair color, unknown eye color, not recognizable. So then I went to look to see if there were any missing persons, right, from Elko, Nevada. I didn't check male or female. I didn't put an age or any years or anything. I just checked how many people have been listed as missing from Elko, Nevada from, what would it be, 1875 until now in this database, right? And then I clicked search. And I came up with two people. And one is a female, Stephanie Kelly Stroh. And she went missing October 15th, 1987 from Wells, Nevada. And there's a couple of photos. She was 21 years old at the time that she went missing. Five foot five, 125 to 130 pounds. Uh, she was last seen when she called her parents at the four way cafe and truck stop in Wells, Nevada, October 15th, 1987. Okay, where is that at? Four-way bar and casino. I don't see a four-way truck stop even listed. There is a casino at the Flying J truck stop in Wells, Nevada. So was that the... Fourteenth Sixth Street. Is that the four way is that the four way bar cafe and casino maybe? Um, let's see. And so there's that.
I wonder how far away that is. Even though she's female and the person... Oh, that's only an hour away. Okay. Even though the John Doe is Mel, the only person that I could see that... Because the other person that went missing was 2022. This person was found in 2018. So, she said she was coming home that night. She was hitchhiking and she had a ride. She had hitchhiked from New York and was on her way to California. She got pretty close, didn't she? Uh, brown hair, brown eyes, pierced ears, brown birthmark on instep of right foot, pink purse, orange sleeping bag, black shirt, black tank top, black corduroy pants, Brown leather ankle high shoes, wooden bead necklace. So those are the things that she had with her when she went missing. October 15th, 1987. And then the other person that went missing that came up that was a missing person from that area is Aiden. Jerome Clune. Forgive me if I'm not pronouncing that right. Here's some photos of him. He was 19 years old, 5 foot 8 to 5 foot 9, only 125 pounds. He's known to have traveled from California to Utah on April 26. He then drove back to Nevada and stayed the night in Wells, checking out of a hotel room at about 6:23 a.m. April 27. He traveled south on US-93 and parked his pickup truck on the shoulder near mile marker 23. At about 8.50 a.m. on April 27th, wow, so this is only two and a half hours later after he checked out of the hotel room, a Nevada State Police Trooper found the vehicle abandoned. The sheriff's office was notified of the situation April 28th and began to search for him. His tracks were located leaving the area where the pickup was abandoned and he was tracked for more than 10 air miles. 10 air miles. Why would he be walking away? He has not been located despite most multiple search efforts. That seems so strange. Brown hair, semi-long in the front, short in the back, may have dyed his hair black. Hair on mid-chest and calves, scraggly growth on chin and upper lip, brown hair, I mean brown eyes. Uh, tattoos, clothing, was wearing a black North Face coat, unknown color jeans, and black Nike high top tennis shoes, also believed to have been wearing a black Gucci belt, may have been wearing a pink quartz heart necklace, possible small earring. Why would he have walked away? So here's the photos. And I wanted to once again mention, because recently there was a Jane Doe found January 12, 2019. And remember, he went missing in 2022 near mile marker 23. She was found in Clark County. She was age 14 to 25. But she was on U.S. Highway 93 at mile marker 66. And he was U.S. 93 mile marker 23. So... And 10 air miles. And that was after this Jane Doe was found in 2018. So I just wanted to mention that because, you know, it's close to the same area possibly. I'm not sure. I don't know where mile marker 66 is, but it just doesn't seem like it would be too far away. So... If you have any idea who this John Doe might be that was found September 21st in Elko, Nevada, uh, please let authorities know. 
And if you have any information about what might have happened to Stephanie Kelly Stroh, please contact authorities and let them know. As well as what might have happened to Aiden Clune. Or if you know who this Jane Doe might have been, just contact them with any information that you have. Let them decide what's important and what's relevant. Um, don't forget to pray for their families and their loved ones. Feel free to leave comments and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.